Hey, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the new mini excavator. Pick this up. It's one of these little Chinese ones. Let me go ahead and get this camera flipped around and I'll give you a quick walkthrough. I'll be doing a review on it as I go. I've been using it. I've got about four and a half hours on it. You know, for what it is, it's impressive. You know, it's nothing, you know, special, but it's a really good unit for, you know, for the value for homeowners or, you know, small projects. But let me get this flipped around and I'll give you a quick walk. All right. So from the outside, you can see it has, it came with the thumb, you know, tooth bucket. I have several other attachments that go with it. I got a root rake. I got a sand bucket. I got a ripper blade and a little trenching bucket. So it has the front blade. It just goes up and down. It's not a swivel blade. I've used the blade quite a bit already, you know, doing some back dragging with it, and a lot of it was stabilizing the machine while I was picking up logs that were really too big for it to handle. But it's a fairly impressive machine. It comes with a little cheap tool kit, nothing special, a couple sockets, a uh, screwdriver, so, you know, rubber tracks all the way around. You know, the cab is just a cab. It's not air conditioned. It has a Briggs and Stratton motor in it. Hydraulic reservoir. You know, there's your level right there. It tells you about the hydraulic oil. You know, so it, I'll probably, it's a N46 oil. So in the future, I'm going to be changing that and the engine oil i figure it's all cheap oil in it right now so i want to you know do a slight upgrade i'd recommend going around and checking some of your nuts and bolts i went around this morning and found several loose ones from the factory so it has a windshield wiper and then you know the weight of the machine in kilograms is 960 you know the width in millimeters is 2000 and it's a 2023 and you can see it's made in china so no washers on any of the bolts so i don't like this i might put a, a shield right there because being that these metal lines are hooked right to the cylinder if something hits it and they break i'm going to be replacing the cylinder you know the bottom one's a little bit better but nothing special so i'll probably make a shield that goes right there something just to protect it a little bit so if something comes back it has some really bright led lights let me bring you around to the cat inside the cab. So we get inside the cab. We've got a battery kill switch. I got a bolt right here. I have it actually taken out of the of the rod for the the door. I used it yesterday. It got pretty hot inside even with the fan. So I just took the door off. I'm going to be taking the door back off today. So I got came with a glass breaker, a fire extinguisher, it probably doesn't work, you know, just being real. Windshield wiper motor over there. You got your choke, your throttle, your hour meter. It's for the the lights on it. You know, the fan I already quit working, a little ch cheap Chinese fan, so I'll be replacing that in the near future. A dope scope, a little dome light up there. These are your controls. These uh, forward and back right here, this is auxiliary hydraulics I don't have. And then this one's for the front blade. This one opens and closes your loader. Well, opens and closes your bucket and lifts and lowers the blade. Well, lifts and lowers the arm. This one right here swivels your cab and extends and retracts the, the boom. So under this little mat, I hope like hell none of y'all ever have to service this. So it's an afterthought. They put this together. This is the same model as the FF12. <clears throat> and this plate is almost impossible to get off. I actually took it off today trying to get under it, you know, and seeing what if I could find a fuse or something. I don't see no fuse box on this thing. There's one random fuse, I'm assuming for the ignition. But uh, I would, once you pull it out, I'd cut it down just so it's easier to put back in. So there's your hydraulic fill. And your battery is actually under here. You know, it's a pretty good sized battery. And then the cab bolts this morning were loose, so I would check them. 
So let's look under the seat. You know, it is an adjustable seat. I'm 6'1", I'm a little cramped, 6'2", something like that. I'm a little cramped inside here, so you're you're going to get about that big. You're not going to get much more room. So it comes factory with two wing nuts right there. I took them out, left them out. You know, I'm not going to put them in because I don't want to have to take them out every time I put fuel in it. <coughs> All right, so right here is your Briggs motor. Extremely loud inside the cab. I'm going to look at changing the muffler on it see if I can find a better muffler. You cannot operate this thing without wearing some type of hearing protection right now. So you got your oil dipsticks down there. You can see one, that yellow cap. There's another one, harder to see over here. You got your starter, your fuel tank, and some cheesy wiring. None of the, none of the wiring on here is good. So this right here, two extra wires for a hydraulic fan. I'm going to be adding a hydraulic fan. I just got to get some measurements and see where I can put it. You know, I might put two fans in it if I can find room. I'm probably going to put a hydraulic cooler in here. I just got to find the, the reservoir. Well, not a hydraulic cooler, but a hydraulic filter. Yeah, there's the reservoir down there. So the top line will be a return line on hydraulics. Unless an idiot put it together, the top's always your return. All right, there's the basics of this machine. I'll show you uh, some operation of it here in just a little bit. And then uh, I'll give you a review on it as I go. You know, I've used it quite a bit. I've moved some heavy logs. I've moved stuff that's made it almost tip. But that's what the front blade's good for. Keeps you, keeps you footed on the ground. And, and check out some of my other videos. And uh, stay tuned for an update on this machine.